Hello. Most UN organizations conduct a written assessment test either in person or online to evaluate your technical skills and knowledge. It acts as a screening process for selection of candidates for interview. The video is based on the written assessment test content of a national position for hydrology and water management specialist to support developing an information-based decision support system in a river basin located in a climate change hotspot. First question of the test, asked to explain what crop water requirement, net irrigation requirement, and total irrigation requirement are. Crop water requirement is the quantity or depth of water required for a crop to meet its evapotranspiration needs to grow optimally. It is dependent on climatic parameters, crop characteristics, and environmental factors. It is necessary for determining total and net irrigation water requirements, as well as irrigation scheduling, for which daily and weekly crop water needs are required to be calculated. Monthly, seasonal and annual crop water requirement data are generally used in establishing irrigation, storage, and conveyance system capacities. Net irrigation requirement is the quantity of water that must be available or stored in the root zone through irrigation to bring the soil moisture level to field capacity. During irrigation, some part of the applied water is stored in the root zone, while the other part, known as unavailable water, is lost through runoff or drainage and deep percolation below the root zones. Earlier methods relied on the difference between crop water requirement or ET and effective precipitation to calculate net irrigation requirement and the time scale normally used for this calculation was on monthly or crop period basis. However, the development of software and availability of in-situ and earth observation data has carved way for daily calculation and monitoring. Most effective way to calculate net irrigation requirement is through soil water balance. Total irrigation requirement or gross irrigation requirement includes the total amount of water to be applied in the fields through irrigation, including water conveyance and application losses. In other words, it is net irrigation requirement plus the water losses expressed in terms of efficiency. The second question asks to write a water balance equation based on the key hydrological processes on watershed scale. Runoff from precipitation and snow and glacial melt flow into water bodies such as streams, rivers, lakes, reservoirs, wetlands, estuaries, seas and oceans. On watershed scale, the dominant hydrological processes and its respective water balance equation can be seen on the screen. The third question asks to write a water balance equation on a canal command area scale. The key hydrological processes found on canal command area scale are precipitation, irrigation either gravity or through pumping, water capillary rise through soil, drainage or runoff, deep percolation, evapotranspiration and soil moisture. Mass balance principle, based on law of mass conservation, is used to determine the water balance equation. Water balance is essentially, the change in the balance of mass, or volume inflow, and outflow from a system, represented as changes in storage of the system. We are referring to changes in the moisture of soil root zone system in this case. The terms highlighted in blue represent the mass entering the field soil system, while the terms highlighted in green represent the mass exiting the soil system through various processes. Whereas, the terms highlighted in grey indicate the changes in storage of mass in the field soil system in the command area before and after being irrigated on a daily scale. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe to show your support.